Hello you guys, my name is Michael from Kebudayaan Portuguese class and today I'm gonna show you guys on how to make a Portuguese dish that is called feijoada de lulas and it's a stew made with beans, sausage and squid so first of all I will explain the ingredients needed for cooking so you will need 400 grams of squid 2 cloves of garlic a cup of sausages, some salt half an onion, carrots and coriander stalks 1 tablespoon of paprika, 200 grams of white beans that have been cooked before, and 1 can of crushed tomatoes. Before you start cooking, there is a couple of things that you need to do. First, you need to wash your squid until it's very clean and cut it into thin slices. We slice the squid very thinly so that it can be eaten very easily for the people. So next, we're gonna mince two cloves of garlic until it's very fine. We need to cut it this way because we don't want any big chunks of garlic stuck in our mouth because it will taste bitter. Then, you need to cut the carrots into bite-sized pieces. This will allow the carrots to cook evenly. Next, cut the onion into slices. The thickness of the onion is really up to you but I re recommend something about an inch thick and next cut the coriander stems the stems itself are tender, flavorful and most importantly edible on medium heat Put a good amount of oil in the pan and start by sauteing the minced onions and let it sweat for a couple of minutes. Keep stirring the onion until it becomes somewhat opaque. Next, put in the minced garlic in the pan and let it cook until fragrant. So after these, we can put in the sausages and the carrot in the pan and start sautéing it. And after sautéing it for a couple of minutes, you can put in the paprika powder. The paprika powder gives it a depth of flavor and a little spicy flavor. Next, add the squid to the pan and keep stirring it until the squid has become somewhat opaque. And after that, add the crushed tomato into the pan. You'll need to stir it until everything is evenly coated with the tomato sauce. Keep stirring this stew and cook it over moderate heat for approximately 5 minutes. Before adding to the pan, we need to drain the beans first. After the beans have been drained, we can put it in the stew. The beans will give it a nutty and earthly flavor and a tender flesh. me this is optional you can put a bay leaf in the stew because it adds another layer of flavor to the soup and stew and help it lighten up the hearty dish and lastly you will need a tablespoon of coriander stock and put it in the stew this will give the stew a refreshing smell to it cover it and cook it for another 20 minutes So this is what feijoada de lulas is gonna look like at the end. I hope you enjoy my cooking. Abrigado.